Hello everyone. Welcome to the video session on topographical surface sheet. We have completed colors and their significance in topographical maps in last video. Today's topic of discussion is conventional signs and symbols in a topo sheet. So let's begin the topic. What is conventional sign or symbol? A conventional symbol is a symbol that is widely accepted interpretation. The various features shown on a map are represented by conventional signs or symbols. For example, colors can be used to indicate a classification of occupations. The common symbols including letters that are used for representing various relief and cultural features are called conventional signs. In a simple manner, we can say that a variety of features, both natural and man-made, are depicted with the help of symbols on the topographical sheet. And these symbols are accepted all over the world. There are two kinds of symbols we can see on the topographical map. Number one is natural signs. Number two is cultural signs. Natural signs these signs are used for depicting the physical features which is created naturally of the earth's surface such as relief, vegetation and drainage etc. For cultural signs, these signs are meant for showing man-made things on the map such as railways, roads and human settlement etc. So, cultural features, it is made by men or it is created by men. We got to know definition of conventional sign or symbol. Then, why do we use these symbols on the topographical map? What are their uses? Actually, it is essential for a geographer or a map reader to make himself familiar with the conventional signs. He can read almost every map easily. He can read even those maps which are in foreign languages since these symbols are universally accepted. So, if you know the conventional signs or symbols properly, then you can read any kinds of topographical maps. So, for this map, language doesn't matter. Different colors are used for showing different objects in the conventional signs such as water is shown by blue color, vegetation by green and man-made objects by black color. So we can understand that the conventional signs help in giving maximum information about a place or area. We will try to understand about these symbols in detail. Okay, so here I have drawn almost all the symbols for easy understanding. And this is how you have to draw. If you see here, I have drawn two square which is filled with red color. And this square shape which denotes permanent hertz. Next symbol that is temporary hertz but it is not filled with red color. It is only square shape that is red in color. Then mine, then survey tree, then metal road, then unmetal road, then car track, pack track. So this is how you have to draw all the symbols. I will explain about the symbols in detail. Here also I have written almost everything and here I have drawn river gap and farm line. Okay. So what is settlements? As I told you we got to know that the per temporary herds and permanent herds. Right. And these herds are included in settlement because the herds which denotes as a settlement. So what is settlement? A settlement is a colony or small community of people or settlement is a place where people live. We can classify this settlement as two types. Number one is temporary settlement, then number two permanent settlement. For temporary settlement, as I told you, it is not filled with red color. It is only square in shape and that is red in color. So what is temporary settlements? 
temporary settlements that are occupied for short time are temporary settlements so temporary settlement is for short period of time for example i have written examples of temporary settlements are the forest hot and cold deserts then mountains okay so people living in such temporary settlements for practice hunting then gathering then shifting cultivation here we can see the picture of temporary settlements which is short span of time let's have a look for permanent settlements this is the symbol of permanent settlements which is filled with red color what is permanent settlements people build home to live in and occupy them for a longer period of time so that is permanent settlement so for permanent settlements it is longer period of time for temporary settlements it is it is short period of time next symbol we will know about survey tree for survey tree here we can see the symbol of survey tree this is a sign of survey tree this is a tree shape okay and there will be a number written if you don't have this number beside the symbol it means it is a normal tree or a plant for survey tree it there has to be any kind of numbering which signifies the height of that tree okay so what is survey tree survey tree is a tree whose location had been noted at the time of survey and any other nearby location in a simple manner we can say that measurements were noted with respect to that tree at the time of survey so that is survey tree and this is a symbol of survey tree so this numbering can be changed here i have written 239 it can be 259 246 so which denotes the height of this particular tree okay and this is the image of survey tree next symbol here we can see mine okay so this is a symbol of mine and here i have uploaded a picture that is for mine so what is mine mine is an excavation in the earth for obtaining coal or other minerals metal roads here we can see the symbol of metal roads metal roads which denotes as pakka roads their presence indicates the development of trade in the region so here we can see red line running parallel okay this is the symbol of metal roads these are made up of cement most of the urban roads are metal roads here we can see the picture of metal roads and metal roads for unmetal roads two parallel line but not complete line so that is for unmetal roads these are made up of soil most of the rural roads are generally unmetal roads okay so this is unmetal roads then cart track and pack track for cart track here we can see cart track and this is for pack track for cart track cart track is a rough track or road over farmland that is unsuitable for ordinary vehicles and this is a symbol of cart track a red line okay that is continuous line for pack track here we can see discontinuous but that is single line red in color for pack track it denotes the tracks of path used either by pack of animals or by group of humans or by both okay hope you understood the concept of pack track and cart track causeway a causeway is of course a raised road usually built on an embankment often running across water or swampy land i can say that in a simple manner a causeway is a 
raised road or platform across a minor stream a stream having causeway is motorable it means able to used by motor vehicles during dry season hence its presence indicates areas of scanty or seasonal rainfall so causeway is a kind of a bridge but not exactly a bridge okay so do not confused next symbol that is rail or road with embankment okay here we can see the symbol of rail or road with embankment so what is embankment embankment is a thick wall of earth that is built to carry a road or railway over an area of low ground okay so this is embankment how here we can see dense sand at the lower level then above the sand we can see clay then peat then road embankment so together it has been created a road embankment which is thick wall of earth now i will discuss about water bodies and that is perennial in nature perennial lined well so this perennial lined well that is also called by pakka well p u c c a pakka well here we can see the symbol of perennial lined well which is full blue circle so it is lined with bricks and cement with water perennial unlined well so these wells are mainly formed by different natural phenomena and incidents and no human work is involved in its manufacturing process okay and it is also called by kachcha well and it is shown as a blue circle we have to remember one thing all perennial wells will be marked in blue they signify they have water throughout the year symbol of water bodies non perennial for non perennial it's fully shaded black circle so here we can see the symbol of non perennial lined well and it is also surrounded by cement or bricks okay non perennial and lined well it's only border circle but that is in black so this is without any brick or stone lining or represented on the map it is only border circle so we can say that it is seasonal rainfall it will have water when there is rain otherwise it will remain dry throughout the year tube well tube well can be both perennial tube well and non perennial tube well if it is blue in color then you have to understand that it is perennial tube well it means it is having water throughout the year if it is black in color then it's non perennial tube well spring spring which is plus in shape okay so it is a place where water will surf from the earth so that is called spring if it is blue in color then non perennial spring if it is black in color color then it is non perennial spring tank what is tank tank is a large storage chamber especially for liquid for perennial tank these are two symbols if you look for perennial tank it can be any one symbol for non perennial tank also if you are looking for this feature then you have to look for any one symbol from here on the topographical map a perennial tank having water throughout the year is shown in blue tank with embankment for here also it is blue in color here you can see it is black in color beside this tank i have written 4r 4r which denotes as a it indicates tank with embankment 
shows relative height. So, R denotes the relative height of the embankment of the tank is 4 in meter. So, relative height between top and bottom of the uh, tank that is 4 in meter. Okay. And this is a symbol of embankment. Here we can see straight, some small straight line that is embankment. Here I have written a note what you need to know. It is man-made when there is an embankment and natural when there is no embankment. So we can say that this is natural tank and this is man-made tank. Reason embankment is man-made. Hope you understood the concept. Representation of features connected with drainage. Rivers. Rivers can be perennial and non-perennial. For perennial river, it is shown in blue. For non-perennial river, it is shown in black. Here we can see the images of perennial and non-perennial river. Island. Island is a part of land. It is an uncultivable area. It means which is not suitable for cultivation. Which is shown in white in the topographic map. This is how you can see the island in the river. Okay. So, river can be dry or river can be having water. Next symbol we will know about broken ground. So, this is the symbol of broken ground which is having curved surface along the line. Okay. Here we can see the picture of broken ground and this type of feature which denotes as a uncultivated land. Here I have written some meaning of the broken ground that is a relief feature found mostly in dry or arid regions around rivers and streams. It is land around river where the top soil gets easily eroded due to flooding during rainy season. Okay, so it is generally found along the banks of a stream or river in arid regions where the top soil gets easily eroded due to flooding during rainy season. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.